just like in Douglas Mawson's day, the focus on the Aurora Australis is on science. All the way down to the Antarctic, marine scientists have been sampling the water and trawling for microorganisms. Various projects are using the Conductivity, Temperature and Depth, or CTD sensor, to sample deep water properties such as salinity, carbon and temperature. They'll compare results with other voyage samples to see how the ocean is changing. Another project is looking at how increasing levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere are affecting the world's oceans. It involves trawling for tiny marine snails. More carbon dissolved in the ocean will make it more acidic. And this team says it has the evidence. We've actually collected foraminifera, which are single cell shelled organisms. Um, and we've compared that with pre-industrial shells and we found a 35% um, decrease in shell weight. So they're getting thinner and you know they're quite substantial food for commercial fish and the like and whales and other charismatic macrofauna. So um, it's really important that like tiny changes there are going to, to have a big effect up the food chain. The Aurora Australis is a remote floating laboratory with work going on around the clock and sometimes in extreme conditions. The scientists are out here in the Southern Ocean doing the measurements, sampling and analysis that they and others will pour over later. And it is, it is an absolute privilege, it really is. This is the sort of stuff that scientists dream of. It's like Disney World for, for a scientist, it is. Because it is. you never, yeah. you know, it, it really is very exciting and, it's a, and you never know what you're actually going to find. And a lot of the time we don't realise the impacts of what we found until we can get it back to the lab because we use very sophisticated techniques. Um, to, to, to analyse our samples. So, uh, yeah, the excitement for us yeah. just begins here yeah. and it continues yeah. on for months yeah. afterwards. The weather conditions are dramatically changing. We are 60 degrees south at the beginning of Antarctica, but the science will continue throughout this centenary voyage. Karen Barlow, ABC News, Southern Ocean.